Hello, 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 my beautiful Libra. How are you, my loves? Hope you're all doing okay, all right? <clears throat> Actually, more than okay. Um, but yes, this is your reading for the month of April, okay? From the 1st to the 15th. And stick around um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. If you're new, stay tuned because I will be uploading the middle of April as well. But first, I'm working on the 1 to the 15th for all signs, okay? Check out my channel, guys. I also do um, love scope, horoscopes, astrology, but at the same time, pick a card readings, okay? I have a lot and tons of pick a card readings, so check me out. My name is Maji, my beautiful. If you do not know me, I'm a psychic medium, and I read intuitively, okay? Um, I am a healer, so if you need a private reading, just contact me on my email down below. And guys, if you would love to donate to my channel, the link is down below too. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Okay, guys, we're almost, um, I'm actually very excited. I don't want to like prolong this, but I'm actually very excited because I'm reaching my 1K. So, you know, I'm just very excited, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to congratulate me, awesome. And if you would like to subscribe to help me reach that 1K, awesome. But only if you resonate with my, with my content, guys, okay? If you don't resonate with my content there's plenty of other tarot readers that you will resonate things with okay now let's start with your reading <clears throat> let's see what is going on here this is going to be your love reading libra okay immediately we have guilt okay if any of this resonates do not forget to comment down below okay all right we have friendship and we have judgment. Bottom of the deck, we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So maybe you were doubting this connection or the feelings that you were feeling here or someone was doubting some type of friendship here. Okay, because we have relationships here. You could have met this person online. I'm hearing for some of you. We do have love and indecision that wanted to pop out immediately. I'm not going to keep them, but I'm just going to pull them out for a little bit. <clears throat> now let's start. Okay, Libra, my beautiful Libra. We have guilt here. I'm seeing somebody's sacral chakra is not doing so well or wasn't doing so well, okay? Someone is feeling some type of guilt here. It says, I released any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. Okay, some of you could be releasing guilt. Okay, um, maybe a friend of yours here. Um, like hurts you, I'm hearing. This person could have been your lover as well as your friend because we have love. Okay, this could have been a love situation for many of you because this is a love reading. And this person feels guilty, okay, that they were indecisive and they didn't listen to their intuition. This could be your energy or your person's energy, okay? Excellent. So yeah, that's what I'm getting with guilt here. That's definitely being highlighted. And then we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So some of these people, okay, some of you, I mean, sorry, um, feel guilt okay that you met this person and um you're just like why did i meet this person some of you this person could have been very judgmental to you okay and made you feel indecisive about your love okay your self-worth who you are but i am seeing here as well your person feeling some type of guilt okay that they betrayed you betrayed this friendship here that they didn't see that you guys were meant for a reason here okay there is love and this love was meant for a reason this this friendship here okay and there was a lot of like cycles i'm seeing all this like swirls and um it's just something is eating somebody up okay in their in their gut yeah it's just like the swirl indecision okay i use my intuition in all aspects of life now, somebody here could be taking a, making a decision or needs to make a decision in love here. Yeah, but they're getting some type of judgment, okay? That's why this person is feeling guilty. Let's find out what this guilt is about. But there's definitely is love here. I'm seeing somebody truly feeling some, love of, some type of love here, okay? And now they feel like 
you're getting judged. Um, they were, they were, they were judging this connection or their friends were judging this connection and making them feel guilty about the love that they were feeling. And this was causing them to be indecisive. Okay. Somebody was not using their intuition. I'm actually just going to leave this cards on the side here for me to see. Okay. Let's see what's crowning this reading before I move into tarot. Okay. My love, stay tuned. Because the clearer the story, the deeper we could get in it. And then the more specific, remember that this is a general reading. Okay. Only take what resonates, my love. Yeah, I'm also seeing somebody here had to release a friend. Okay, this is a very specific message. I'm seeing here somebody had to um, release some type of belief or friend here. That was making them feel guilty and judgmental. Okay, when they were trying to grow in a soul level, okay, because they were seeing things in love, okay, and there's, it says here, I commit to the practice of seeing love in all things, so it's like, either you or this person, right, is seeing things from a loving perspective, and these people, right, they're projecting, making them feel some type of guilt when it shouldn't be that way, I feel like a lot of these people have faced judgment, they're, you know, there's a lot of criticism here, Okay, let's see. Spirit, what is crowning this reading for my Libra for the month of April? What is crowning this reading for Libra? What is this guilt here, Spirit? What is this guilt that's crowning this reading here? Heart, yeah. Definitely somebody feels a lot of love here and they feel some type of guilt because they didn't make the decision. They didn't have the right judgment to make the right decision, okay? And now they have this clarity the sun, you could be dealing with a Leo. They've had this sort of clarity that you are their love, okay? This is love. And now they are following their intuition here. They need to make a decision. And I think the decision is to release this guilt, okay? Somebody has been healing their heart here for sure. Harboring, I'm hearing like just uh, a lot of judgment here and resentment. So this is somebody probably who, you know, wasn't like their, their heart chakra wasn't opened. Okay. It was blocked. This is somebody who has walls, who's probably been through a lot in life. Okay. That's made them feel turmoil. I am seeing this person feels a lot of attraction towards you. Okay. There is love coming towards you, Libra. A, a new door to romance is coming towards you. We already have the card of love here. So there is somebody that truly loves you. Okay. And wants to really... Um, release this guilt that they've been holding here, this guilt of loving you, I'm hearing, okay? Um, there is some type of envy in this connection here, some type of jealousy. The friendship card reminds me of like the Six of Cups. So this person could just feel like if you're not friends with this person, okay? I just feel like they feel this kindness from you, this friendship, um, okay? Okay. What else spirit is crowning this, crowning this reading for Libra? Gosh, all the cards are popping out, guys. I don't know what's going on, but a lot needs to be said is what I'm hearing. A lot needs to be said. Okay. Somebody also is feeling guilty that they didn't leave another connection. Okay? And maybe put you in the friend zone is what I'm hearing. Put you in the friend zone when they knew that this was love. Okay? They have been hiding this feelings inside or something like that what's crowning this reading what is this guilt friendship judgment here tell us this love story spirit in the month of april what's going on attachment yeah mm -hmm. happy family okay somebody here is definitely closing out cycles i think this is your person okay they feel at a distance from you and you've awakened their heart. You've awakened love in this person's life. And this has caused them to also not know how to follow their heart. This person doesn't know how to follow their heart, okay? So this is why they were in indecisive. There were things from the past, people, situations, okay, that were making this person wear a mask and feel chained, feel trapped. 
okay? Not free enough to express this emotion. This is the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, okay? You've, you've opened this person's heart is what I'm seeing and you make them very happy. We had the sun already pop up. Now we have the rainbow, happy family, okay? So it's like, for some of them, this, your, uh, their family could have been very judgmental about the connection, okay? Which again, this, this card just keeps popping up to me here. It's like somebody caused this person to feel guilty for loving you because it's under the heart chakra, okay? And it's like there's a friendship here who's not letting this person go, okay? They're there for a reason. They were there for a season, but that's it. This person has to let them go, whether this is your energy or theirs. You have to know, okay? But there is some type of dark energy having a hold, somebody being judgmental here. And this felt right on their happy family. This person wants to build some type of foundation or build a family with you, okay? They definitely feel a tremendous amount of love for you. So, yeah, I feel like they're they're healing this guilt, okay, for their soul's growth. They're they're healing in their heart whatever guilt in the past, whatever judgment, okay, this disattachment, whatever was holding them back or was holding you back, you're going to be releasing that, okay? Definitely look at this. I'm shuffling the cards, but we have the three of swords, okay? This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? <clears throat> So I'm definitely just feeling somebody here missing you and feeling very torn apart, heartbroken. We have the heart chakra here. This person feels heartbroken that um, maybe they didn't make a move on you, that they were indecisive in making judgment here or making clear judgment, right? Indecision with judgment. It's like somebody didn't have the clear judgment here, though they felt love with you and they knew that they wanted a happy family with you. There was some type of guilt here. And this person is now healing that and releasing any beliefs that no longer assist their soul's growth. Okay? Okay, they're just like whatever friends that were holding them back, friendships, connections, karmic connections, karmic friendships, whatever this is, family members were holding them back. They're ready to release and bring success in with you. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. Because they're like, I know that you're in my life for a reason. You know, well, these people were in my life for a reason, but it's like, it seems someone here wants to really grow. Okay. And let go of the past. I'm hearing. Okay. Spirit, what is going on here? Give us more clarity here. What's going on in this love situation? Tell us about this guilt. Tell us about this guilt. Clarify guilt for my Libra. Clarify guilt. What is this guilt spirit? Okay, the fact that the cards took a little while to come out, I'm also hearing like some things were not said, okay? King of Swords, the truth, okay? Somebody here was not speaking their truth. Four of Pentacles, restraining with the Page of Wands. Somebody here that was... I'm also seeing here a friend here for some of you doesn't want to let you go, okay? They feel a lot of guilt and they don't want to let you go. That's for some of you here, okay? But I am getting the message here with the heart chakra and the four of pentacles. Somebody did not want to release something or someone, okay? They were afraid to get out of the comfort zone and change. They had some sort of attachment to an idea or a belief, okay? But now... Maybe they themselves were very judgmental people, but now they don't want to. They know that everyone is unique in their own way and they love the, the way that you are, okay? Um, with the page of wands here, we also have the energy of an excitement, an exciting new beginning coming here. So somebody is really releasing this. They feel, I mean, look how she feels. Whether you are a girl or a boy, it's like, look how she feels, okay? It's like somebody that was just feeling cold and like holding back feeling like they lack something feeling the guilt of lacking something i'm also hearing this person felt like they couldn't love you enough they couldn't offer you the love okay and the happiness the three of swords did flip out so i wanted to come out i'm taking that out they feel some type of guilt that they hurt you okay this is also what i'm getting here this person feels guilt that they hurt your heart 
Okay, you guys are definitely hurting. I'm seeing this heart here still bleeding for some of you, okay? Depending on the timing that this happened, this person is watching you. I just saw the Page of Swords. But with the Page of Wands, it's like, yeah, somebody is definitely releasing this resistance and they want to start a brand new beginning here because they feel this tremendous amount of passion, guys. Ace of Wands. We have a lot of Leo energy here. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? Clarify the Three of Swords. Was this a betrayal here? What happened? Okay, um, with the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords, this definitely could have been somebody um, that was in and out of your life, okay? But now, like, they're just like the... the this is like my Cupid's arrows. It's like now they, they love you, okay? Now they can't hide it. They can't hide this feeling, okay? They feel dumb and stupid that they didn't follow their heart here. They feel guilty for not following their heart chakra for holding back the excitement that they knew that you brought them for holding back the passion that they knew that you brought them okay and they want to offer you this new beginning there's definitely something about a new beginning here because of these two cards here the page and the ace speaks about this exciting guys exciting new beginning so you definitely made this person um feel excited again inspired even Okay, and they really feel guilty. I'm seeing an apology coming towards you guys in the month of uh, April 1 to the 15th. It's like I am also hearing I don't want to let you go. Maybe this is also the attachment card. This person, um, some people in their life didn't want to let them go or they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let this friendship go. With the Knight of Wands, like I was saying, sorry, I got distracted. It's um, it's the player energy, okay? It's somebody who's not consistent, who's in and out. But I'm hearing, I want commitment now, okay? I want a happy family with you. I'm sorry that I couldn't see back then. I didn't have the clarity with the rainbow here, but now I do. And I'm ready to release whatever is, is holding this back from flowing, from moving. A card just flipped. Wow, guys, we have the Empress. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this person definitely was inconsistent in your life, okay? This could have been just a, a sexual connection for a lot of you. With the Knight of Wands, but this person now has realized that there is love, okay? That there is unconditional, pure love, and that they were self-sabotaging this whole entire connection. They were the ones holding back, okay? Um, even though this person was bored in the other connection that they were in, all right? This card just flipped like crazy, the Nine of Swords. So hold on, because I'm getting a lot of downloads. So just literally bear with me. Like, oof, hold on. I got to slow down. Okay, Libra. Somebody here feels broken, okay? They feel heartbroken. That's exactly it. They're healing their heart here. Some of them could have been healing this broken heart, or you could have healed this person's broken heart, Okay? They were used to the betrayal because this person broke many people's heart. I'm seeing this too. This is a heartbreaker energy here. This is a player energy. Somebody who, you know, stirs and awakens passion inside of you, but then, you know, texts you like every other month or contacts you whenever they want for, you know, for intimacy. They see you as the empress, okay? So, again, with that love energy, right? She is the ultimate love. She is the creator. She is abundant. She is the only one and only. So this person now has realized, guys, you're worth and they feel guilty. <laughs> okay, this person feels guilty. I'm sorry that I laugh, but this person feels guilty that they didn't share this passion that was inside of them. And with this being in the third eye, this could have very much been a spiritual connection for many of you. And the fact that the empress is out here is that you are divine feminine. You could be dealing with a divine masculine, meaning twin flame connection. Take the high resonates. However, this person, there's a lot of aces here. This person wants to offer you this new beginning here. They feel some deep friendship here. They feel like you're meant to be in their life for a reason as well. And the, yeah, this person basically has realized that, you know, they love you and you are the one that they want to have a family with. You see how she has, she's pregnant and we have happy family. I did say this person wants to build a foundation with you, right? So this person sees you as wifey or if you're a male, you know, as hubby, you know, 
husband, whatever. Um, but yeah, this person was the type that was like afraid of commitment. Okay. Afraid of change, right? Afraid of leaving this old life, which I kept saying they were used to being around people that were judgmental. Okay. Friends that, you know, a lot of people used to hold this person back. But it's like you've ignited something inside of them and they feel guilty that the one person that was so nurturing, so caring, so loving, all right, you see love through all things. You are the empress, okay, or emperor watching this. It's like there's so much love that you are and this person holds so much love for you. They feel like you're so powerful um, yet fragile and they, you know, and they broke your heart here. And right now, guess what? They feel guilty. Look at this guilt that this person's in. They can't sleep. They're overthinking. They can't get you out of their mind. So they're like, what is what? What happened? I miss you. My heart yearns for you. I'm sc it's screaming for you. Why? What happened? What did I do here? What didn't I do? Okay. But they see you like this. This person values you, puts you on a pedestal. They, they see you worthy, okay? They see you as an abundant, beautiful, beautiful, the ultimate best, okay? And yeah, I feel like you have a lot of self-love. Your cup is full. You're ready to give a lot of love to anyone and everyone, okay, who needs it, to friends, to family, okay? But I feel like this person now is beginning to see things from from their intuition and from this love perspective because they weren't in the past they do feel guilt here okay someone's heart is broken let's see where are my cards jesus where i put them okay <laughs> sorry guys you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo um taurus here because we have a lot of that on the bottom of the deck okay hold on that was not shuffling there okay yeah Ooh. okay we have the lovers and the eight of wands Gemini energy, okay? We also have Pisces, guys. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We basically have all the signs. I don't think I've missed one here. But don't pay much attention to the signs here. Zodiac signs. Okay, the Eight of Wands, right? Like I said, Cupid's arrow, right? This person feels intense amount of passion towards you, right? It's like it's just shooting. It's, it's, it's passion after passion, wand after wand, right? And the, the Gemini energy here, the lover speaks about a decision as well. So it's like now this person is going to start to use their intuition, okay? And so are you to follow this love, okay? Be this love here. The lovers also speaks about twin flames and um, a divine connection, right? An orchestration of the universe putting together... The Maybe you and this person, yeah, the Six of Cups. This is definitely a past life um, situation for many of you. This also could have been an ex, okay? Somebody that broke your heart here feels some type of guilt. I feel like this person has learned their, uh, learned their lesson. They see why the reason that you were in their life, and you were in their life to bring love. You were in their life to uh, um, open their heart chakra, okay? And balance, their, and balance into their life. Mm -hmm. And with the six of cups, it's like this person is in, they're just thinking about the memories. This is the, my nostalgia card, but also this is my friendship card. I said it earlier. I was like, remember that friendship card? I said, it reminds me of the six of cups. Yeah. For a lot of you, this person could be your friend from, um, from childhood, from the past. Okay. Um, any age guys really, you know, but it's like, there's some type of friendship about, about you both. Or if you're not friends at all, it's like, they feel that they feel this deep friendship. Like I've known you before. See that there's like this, I've known you before. It's like that when this person saw you in their eyes, like the first time they knew immediately, cause it's next to the eight of wands. As soon as this person saw you arrows, okay. Cupid's arrows was just striking. Um, right now they just feel guilt as in like, what stopped it? You know, what stopped me besides people's judgment? The fact that for some of you, you had to keep things a secret. Okay. The, this person is just hiding all these emotions. And I felt like they just want to release this passion and this guilt. Um, take the high resonates. This could be your situation and about your person, you know? Yeah. A lot of you walked away from this person because they broke your heart. This could have been a third party situation. You went towards your happiness. 
And now this person is seeing you walk away and they just don't know. They just don't know what to do, how to come towards you and, and offer you this cup of love, this new beginning. Okay, there's a lot of heavy energy here, heavy weight. I mean, guilt, nine of swords. It's just like anxiety I'm hearing too. Um, no peace. Okay, let's see. What is this nine of swords here? There's definitely a past life connection about this here, guys. Like this is a twin flame connection. If you know about that, comment down below. Ugh. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. And the five of wands, okay? This person is going through major changes in their life again, right? They are releasing guilt. They are growing in a soul level. Um, they are opening their heart chakra as they're healing it. They're healing this broken heart. Maybe maybe let's say you, none of you guys broke this person's heart or their heart is not broken right now. Besides the fact that they miss you, they're healing their broken heart from people in the past who betrayed them, who made them feel guilty, non-worthy, Okay? who were very judgmental about this person and made them feel abandoned, not enough, non-worthy. This is something I'm also getting here. The Five of Pentacles speaks about being left out in the cold. So you guys cannot really be speaking right now, but they are going to communicate. They really feel abandoned by you here. Um, with the Five of Wands speaks about some type of conflict. They could have had some inner conflict here or been in a connection where there was a lot of competition, okay? Five Five speaks about change. It could have been some finances changed in, in their life here. I'm also hearing like they could be jealous because of your beauty. Okay, they could be jealous of the suitors that are coming towards you, that are seeing you because of this passion here. If you notice, it's like you have this fire about you. There's this uniqueness about you and everybody wants this. You're very alluring. There's something about you. Maybe it's your aura. Okay, the way that you perceive life that like attracts people. And yeah, the sun came out again. So yeah, I'm seeing a beautiful outcome for you guys. Okay, I'm definitely seeing reconciliation, the three of cups. This person's definitely going to contact you, ask you out on a date for some of you or to meet up. Okay, the sun card also speaks about success. It speaks about abundance. You make this person extremely happy. And you know, right now they're just hiding. They're in hiding. They're just watching you hiding. You know, they're... But with the sun, maybe they're, you know, getting ready to, um, they're ready to move forward is what I'm hearing. Let's clarify that sun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, as I said that, they're ready to move forward. The chariot, the chariot is literally the forward, the forward card. We have Leo cancer, Pisces, Scorpio cancer. Okay. Um, take the high resonates, but yeah, this person is moving towards you because you are their happiness. They're moving toward their happiness with determination. They're taking action with success, with confidence. Okay, they're charging here because look at this. They feel an intense friendship. It's like it's beyond love. It's it's friendship, right? It's yeah, that's what I'm also getting here. Okay, it's a love that it's it's like deeper than just love. It's a friendship. Take the high resonates, my beautiful loves. Okay. But the horses also remind me of the twin flame, yin yang, and as well as indecision. This person in the past didn't know which road to take. There was an inner conflict, okay? Them having some type of fear of being judged, okay? Because of this guilt that lived inside of them in their heart. It was blocking their intuition. But look at this now. With this ace of wands, tell me this isn't somebody following their intuition. Her eyes are closed and something has been awakened. Yeah. This person's like psychic abilities could have also been awakened here. But yeah, I'm seeing this person, okay, offer you some type of commitment here or love confession. Clarify the two of cups. Yeah, they've went to some sort of transformation here. And they want to transform this connection. There, there could be a Scorpio here with the rebirth. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely seeing this person in heavy, heavy guilt here. Oof. Heavy, heavy guilt. They're mad that you guys are not talking right now. I feel like they're releasing a lot of friendships. Like I keep saying, any toxic friends or people that were competitive in their life, okay, they're releasing that. What is their action here, spirit? What is their action with this uh, chariot? Yeah, this person may just even drive to your house, I'm hearing. Yeah, for some of you, this person could be at a distance um, from you. They could be driving to your house. Okay, with the water here, you could be like overseas at a distance. They're waiting here. It's like they're waiting. They're waiting. 
they've gone through some transformation here for sure with the hermit we have virgo and scorpio heavy here as well both of these cards speaks about spiritual transformation so somebody has gone through some spiritual transformation and you know released this guilt and this has been a tremendous um victory is what i'm hearing right because the chariot it's like this person is moving forward now they're not going to look back they're tired of living in this lack energy okay i see confidence now i see them highly focused on you okay maybe they are feeling like you're going to cut them out okay for some of you this person doesn't know if they want to come forward because they're going through major changes here. For others of you, they've already gone through this dark night of the soul. Okay, look at this. Okay. They could have already like went from out this like, you know, hermit, retreated, healing, okay, energy, not speaking to people to now coming out healed, success, okay? Knowing that there is a deep connection here, love, spirit. Clarify the two of cups now. What is this action? Yeah, wish fulfillment. There's a lot of emotions here. And the devil, the Capricorn, this person is addicted to you. Um, I feel like they're definitely releasing toxicity, okay? That's what I'm hearing. They've been collaborating with spirit, okay, with, with their spirit guides. They're ready, they're ready to collaborate with you. You could be dealing with a Leo here with the strength. I feel like they feel like this is a power couple. And they're becoming stronger. I'm hearing they feel stronger as they're releasing guilt. Okay, they're releasing toxicity, but they also feel some type of like obsession with you, like in a good way. Yeah, like I said, they're releasing toxicity, ten of wands. They're releasing burdens, people, places that aren't good for them, habits that aren't good for them. Okay, things that are weighting them down because this guilt, right? That's heavy weight. The ten of wands is guilt. It's heavy weight, right? So one more. Page of cups. Yeah, expect an apology from this person, some type of communication. Because they definitely see you abundant here. You could be single right now. And they're just like, you know, nervous of the competition. You're getting your justice here. Some of you could have made some money here. Um, through some sort of court system. Ooh, for sure. I'm seeing money here. Some of you are getting some money. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Mm-hmm. Aries energy. Okay, guys, you're definitely dealing with an emperor here, divine masculine. Like I said, spirit, you, and them. Okay, you're definitely, this is a very twin flame situation here. Um, this person wants, like, longevity with you, Libra, okay? Or you with this person, okay? They want to have kids with you. They want to have everything with you. They want to have justice with you. And I'm seeing the universe give you both this. Okay, you guys are going to be very abundant together here. You're going to go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, expect this person to offer you new love here, a new beginning, okay? Expect a message from this person for sure. Ooh, they're in a rush too. Look at this. Expect this soon, like right now, tonight, till tomorrow, <laughs> this week, okay? Let's see what love message comes here. Spirit, what love message does the Libra want to say? Does the Libra person want to say to my Libra, will you marry me? Okay, so this person definitely wants, like I said, higher level of commitment. I said longevity, right? This person sees you like having a whole bunch of kids together, having a kid, having the white picket fence together, you know, having everything together. Happy family, right? So yeah, for a lot of you, this person is ready to commit because I'm, he I'm hearing they had commitment issues. This person probably like never committed to someone before. And some of them, if they were married, because I am seeing the justice here, okay? Yeah, they're letting go of whatever attachment was here to go t towards you. What else, spirit? Love messages to my Libras from their person. We have passion. I said it, the Ace of Wands. This, def this person is so attracted to you. They feel a lot of passion, okay? Oh, guys, <laughs> and we have the commitment card again. Your relationship moves to the next level. Mm -hmm. Okay, just know that this is what's coming out here. This person knows that you're the wish fulfillment, okay? They know that you are the one, so why go to anybody else? You know, like in the Empress, 
she's above all the queens. Who is above the empress? There's no one else. So it's like, why not commit, you know? There's no one else. I'm hearing true love. This is my true love. I'm sorry, I hurt you. Yeah, this person, and you could have been in lots of fights, so this person cheated. Yeah, with the five of wands, there definitely could have been some type of conflict. And you or this person were left out in the cold after this argument. Okay, but yeah, there is an apology now, right? I'm sorry. This person is going to come and apologize. Maybe even with flowers, drive to the car, drive with their car. Okay, make movement forward here. Yeah, and, I, and again, we have the cheating. This person could have cheated with the three of swords, some type of third party betrayal here. Right? When three people are involved. We have distant affection. So they're sending you love. And we have fate. Fate is helping and guiding your connection. Luck is with you. So they feel like this is definitely fated, like I said. And forgive me, okay? Expect an apology, like I keep saying, from this person, for sure, okay? And now let's see what Spirit's advice for you, my love. What's your advice? Okay, we have protection and dreams, okay? Okay. I'm hearing you are this person's dream come true, wish fulfillment, right? Dream come true. Yeah, this person's dreaming about you. You could be dreaming about this person because that is a twin flame thing. And protection, okay? It's like this person wants to protect you. Look, we have this twice. This person wants to put a baby in you. They want to have babies with you or vice versa, okay? This person definitely wants to have babies with you and they want to protect you. What is the advice? Your advice is also, I'm hearing just for a few of you, okay, protect your dreams. This could be like your actual dreams or just like when you go to bed dreams. Advice for Libra watching this, travel. Okay, somebody's definitely moving towards you like I keep saying. Somebody's traveling towards you, okay, so get ready is what I'm hearing. Peace. Yeah, this person is not having peace, right? They're not having a peace of mind. They're hurting there's inner conflict. Where's that nine of swords? Yeah, look. They can't sleep. They're worried. Okay, so they're traveling here because they want to make peace. Expect this person to just bring love and peace here. Yeah, there's some type of closure coming towards you in the month of April. Okay, Libra? It's like the chapter is not closed. There's no peace here because there's a lot of passion. It's like, why do we have to close this chapter? You know, I feel peace when I'm with you. I feel happy when I'm with you. I feel abundant when I'm with you. I feel whole when I'm with you. I feel fulfilled when I'm with you. Okay? I feel inspired, creative, you know, active, energized when I'm around you. And I definitely feel like you definitely left this person without saying anything is what I'm hearing. You could have left this person and left the door like a little bit cracked open, meaning like symbolism, like, you know, where. Or maybe you judge this person too harshly here and they're not having a peace of mind. They need they need peace. They're not having a peace of mind. OK, there's too much guilt of not expressing this fire, this true passion that was there. We had passion three times here. OK, so express some type of truth. This person is ready to give you some type of truth and love confession here. They're definitely building the courage. And now I'm going to choose a little message here. This is just a general message for Libra. Plan ahead, okay? So plan ahead because this person may ask you to travel. We did have that. So you could be traveling. Just plan ahead for that or just for anything. Now let's see any initials before I let you guys go, okay? Sorry about the noise. Okay, let's see. Initials for my Libras before I let them go, Spirit. We have T, I, and H, hit. For some of you, this person feels guilty for hitting you. This person could have hit you, laid their hands on you. We also have, right, like fighting. This, you guys could have been in a fight. We also have he, okay. I'm hearing heat, right? We have passion, a heated situation. They were feeling heated at the time. We have a lot of E's here. Your person's name or initials could start with an H, E, T, I. What else there for Libra? Initials for Libra. Watching this. We have S, T, 
X. For some of you, this definitely could be an X. That's why we have the Three of Swords. We also have the word sex. So this person definitely can't stop thinking about your sex is what I'm hearing. This isn't an 18 plus reading, but yeah. I do have an 18 plus reading if you want to check it out, okay? Um, Yeah, this person's thinking about the sex. They want to hit it, right? That's why we also have hit. Tease. Yeah, they want to be teased. They feel like you're teasing. I don't, I'm sorry, guys. This just turned into sex because I feel like there's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotion, but there's also a lot of sexual desire and passion. Okay, we also have the letter D, M. Okay, so expect this person to hit you up on a DM, but I'm also hearing your divine masculine. This is your DM, okay, as you could see right there. We also have L and D again. So let's see what I could do real quick. Ted, your person's name could be Ted, Teddy, okay, head, this person may want head, oh my god, how did this just turn into this, lit, okay, this person feels like you're lit, or you guys are going to have like a lit time here, we also have the, the end, yeah, so somebody thinks like something is over here, they don't want an ending here, maybe they want sex before you guys finish this, I don't know, this is weird, we have A, Okay, heat. Again, there's a lot of heat in this connection. There's a lot of passion. And heal. Okay, we also have heal. So yeah, this person's definitely healing. Okay, guys, look at the heal here. Okay. All right, take the high resonance, my beautiful Libra. I love you. Mm -hmm.